Tom Cruise is a person and a Scientologist. What's so bad about Scientology again? Mm, exploitation, abuse, okay. And anyway, more importantly, Top Gun. Now, what do we all like about Top Gun? The action, the romance, wrong. The, the men. men. Just kidding, no I'm not. We're all here for the F-14 Tomcat. Now, we woo, we woo, we woo, we woo. That's right, this bad boy has variable sweep wings, but why? Disclaimer, I'm a high school graduate. I did not study these things. If there's any aerospace engineers or whoever the fuck, then please correct me if I make a mistake. However, of course, I did my absolute best not to make any. So if you want a super deep and crunchy understanding of why swept wings and straight wings are a thing, then I suggest you watch this video and this video. But it's also fine if you just watch this one. Now, let's get into it. So as a quick summary of the last video, when going fast, air goes fast. When air fast, air get compressed. When air compressed, air wants to violently lash out through shockwaves. When shockwaves, a lot of the time, airflow separation. When airflow separation, increased drag. And if airflow separation happens over a control surface, you get the extra super fun bonus of not being able to use that control surface anymore. Can I go now? So to counteract all this fun stuff, people came up with swept wings. Now, before I explain why swept wings are better for this kind of thing, let me just show you what would happen when going at the speed of sound with a straight wing aircraft that isn't meant for it. So here on the airfield, we got ourselves a cameo to show us just what would happen when you go supersonic in a regular straight wing aircraft. Welcome, Ring Roo Roo. That feels so weird to say. Ring Roo Roo. Ring Roo Roo. Stop being stupid in front of our guests. Hey there, I'm Ring Roo Roo. I have an animation, art, and story time kind of channel, but I also have a pilot's license. <laughs> Except that's a lie, but that's fine. Let's just get into the plane and see what happens. We're gonna ignore that that's a propeller plane, okay? Wasn't gonna say anything. You don't have a license? So here we are at 11,000 feet, getting a bit faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, can you just describe what's happening to the plane as we get faster and I'll ask some questions for the viewers? Yeah, sure. So now we're transonic. Already? Damn. What's your favorite cheese? Cheddar. So as you can tell, the plane is shaking, and our life expectancies have dropped a considerable amount. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gouda, okay. Uh, so why is it shaking? Well, part of it is that on straight wings, shockwaves form perpendicular to the leading edge. So air just hits the shockwave head-on, causing drag and strain on the structure. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the current housing crisis? Whoa! What was, uh, <laughs> what was that? Well, as we're going supersonic, the center of lift shifts backwards, causing us to pitch up. Also, the spanwise flow is really picking us in the ash right now. The fuck does Spanwise flow me? And would you say that a desert is half a beach? That's a great question past me. We're all smarter now, including me and excluding Jonathan. A desert is indeed half a beach. No, it's not. Why? It's literally the sand just without the water. You can't compare them. It's different sand. Oh, oh, it's different sand. How the fuck do you even know that? Bro, it doesn't matter. You can't compare a goddamn desert to a beach. Why not? Cut and Spanwise flow is this part of the airflow. And it's important because the faster the plane goes, the more the airflow goes to its Spanwise component. Okay, keep this in mind. Now, let me just tell you what the critical Mach number is. It's the speed at which shockwaves start to form on the plane, or more specifically, its wings. And this doesn't happen when the plane goes supersonic, it happens before then, when the accelerated air over just the wings approaches the speed of sound. So it's these shockwaves and the resulting airflow separation that increase drag, structural strain, and make handling worse. You don't like me? Fuck off. Now it's been time, ladies and gentlemen, I have made a second channel where I'm gonna post IRL stuff, and I've already uploaded a video there about my last school trip, so if you're interested in that, you know go ahead and check it out the link is in the uh, link is in the description yeah you'll also see my face if that's something you're interested in so yeah unofficial face review i guess um go check it out back to the video i wanted to say peace but back to the video okay back to the flow so the quirky thing about the spanwise flow is that it doesn't really accelerate like the cordwise flow and here's the thing with swept wings more of the airflow turns into its spanwise component than on straight wings ah! Which, I mean, kind of makes sense if you look at this, and then you look at this. <laughs> anyway, this means that shockwaves form less and later. However, spanwise flow doesn't really generate lift. It's mainly the cordwise and relative flow that do the dirty work. So yay. Now we have understood why straight wings and why swept wings exist, admittedly in a service level way, but still a true way. Swept wings, better at higher speeds because less drag. Straight wings have more lift, so better at slower speeds. So ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the reasons why the F-14 is the way it is. It needed enough lift to take off from a carrier and also do more complex maneuvers, so extend the wings, but it also needed to be efficient at supersonic speed so the wings got tucked in. You know what other plane has variable sweep wings? That's right, the F-111. 
Aardvark. One of my patrons has been asking for this plane under every video. So here it is. Here it is, Isaac Allwood. Um, someday, someday I'll go more in depth. But this plane also has variable sweep wings. So the, everything I talked about in this video applies to it as well. So yeah, thank you to Ringruru for, um, you know, this mini collab. Her channel's in the description down below as well. As well as my second channel. So make sure to go check that out. And all the other links, Patreon, Discord. So yeah, go check that out. Smash like, subscribe, write a comment because I do read them. Um, tell me what your favorite swept wing aircraft is, you know, um, and then I'll see you in the next one or on my second channel. Okay. Bye